My name's Ginny Cooper, um, I'm 21 years old and I come from London in England. And um, I'm in France for three months um, to study graphic design and to improve my French. Okay, I've just got off the metro and I'm at school on a lovely sunny Monday morning. So this is, this is school. And you can see all the students as well. But we'll go and have a look. Ah, it's Kai! Kai's going to have to say hello to the camera. Dis bonjour, Kai. <laughs> um, I go to London College of Communication, which is an art university in the centre of London, to do uh, promotion, to do advertising, to do page layout, um, all things to do with media, multimedia and things like that. Well, at university, we had an option to take a year out. Um, and in this year out, I can do whatever I want. I, can, I, I could have stayed in London and done some work experience, but as since I've been a little girl, I've always wanted to come and live in Paris. And um, our school has a connection with STN, so my teachers told me that I could come here for three months. I'm in a class with nine other Erasmus students from all over the world. Um, but we speak in French, we have um, certain lessons together and then we can go and join the French students as well if we want to, to do other, other lessons. And it's really, th they've given us an option to, to do a bit of everything. We can choose whether we want to do animation, screen printing, um, typography. Les Colestiennes donc accueillent des étudiants euh, Erasmus depuis environ une vingtaine d'années. Donc nous faisons des échanges bilatéraux, c'est-à-dire que nous recevons des étudiants étrangers pendant que nos étudiants s'en vont à l'étranger, euh, principalement en Europe. On leur apporte euh, au niveau technique d'abord euh, différents savoirs, le design graphique, la publicité éventuellement ou la communication visuelle. Je pense que c'est une plus-value sur un CV parce que ça, ça montre euh, que l'étudiant est prêt à s'investir à l'étranger, à partir, à, à connaître une autre culture, euh, d'autres façons de, de faire, d'autres techniques. One of the prettiest areas of Paris. Um, really good to do some window shopping and just wander about on a nice day. Um, so it's Christmas in a week, so um, I'm going to go and try and find some presents and things. Finding a flat was really difficult, um, especially from England, because when you look on the internet, you're not sure whether it's people who are being serious or whether they're trying to con you, things like that. Um, I had a few bad experiences, so I decided to come over here and stay with some friends, some family friends, for a week and search whilst I was here because it was easier to do that. Um, on terms of money, um, I got a grant from Erasmus, uh, who, which basically paid for all my accommodation, which was really good. Um, and I still get a loan from the British government um, to help with living costs and things. time and we're all eating together it's very nice um lisa is here say hello lisa and jan is hi <laughs> and, and <Adler>. hello <laughs> yeah this is our lovely um french version of roast chicken <laughs> okay we're on the metro after just having a um, drink at home and we're off to see the concert Coming to a different country just totally opens up your mind, totally makes you view things in a different way. And I think, I think everybody should do it. I think it should be part of, of, of a, a learning experience. I think everybody should take out three months, even more than three months. I don't think three months is long enough. But um, yeah, you, you learn so much, you meet different people and it's a really good experience.